The topic of this problem is strengthening mechanisms affect a percent cold work on ductility and yield strength too. What diameter should a 1 inch diameter brass rod be extruded to have a yield strength greater than 300 megapascals and ductility greater than 30% elongation? This problem will be solved with the equation percent cold work equals A naught minus A sub F divided by A naught multiplied by 100. Also, A naught equals pi D naught squared divided by 4 and A sub F equals pi D sub F squared divided by 4. Now we can define the variables in our equations. A naught is the initial area, A sub F is the final area, D naught is the initial diameter which is given as 1 inch and D sub F is the final diameter which is what we are looking for. From there we can simplify the percent cold work equation and then substitute in the areas, the equations for area. After the substitution and elimination of values our new percent cold work equation is 1 minus df divided by d naught squared multiplied by 100. Since we are looking for the final diameter, we will solve for d sub f in this equation, which gives us the square root of 1 minus percent cold work over 100 multiplied by d naught. Now that we have the equation to solve for the final diameter, we need to use the given plots to find the percent cold work that corresponds to a yield strength greater than 300 megapascals and ductility greater than 30 percent elongation. Let's begin with the first plot given. We will find 30 percent elongation and draw a horizontal line over to the brass curve. Then we draw a vertical line down to the present cold work axis which gives us approximately 15 percent cold work. And from here we can see anything less than 15 percent cold work gives us greater than 30 percent elongation. Now let's do the same for the second plot by locating 300 megapascals on the yield strength axis, drawing a horizontal line over to the brass curve, and then a vertical line down to the percent cold work axis. This gives us approximately 13 percent cold work, and anything greater than 13 percent cold work gives us greater than 300 megapascals. Based on this information, we can conclude that the window of percent cold work that corresponds with the adequate yield strength and ductility is between 13 and 15 percent cold work. For the purpose of this problem, we will choose 14 percent cold work to finish the calculations. Plugging in 14 percent cold work divided by 100 in 1 inch for D naught we can calculate the final diameter which is approximately 0 0.927 inches. Therefore with a yield strength greater than 300 megapascals and ductility greater than 30 percent elongation a 1 inch diameter brass rod should be extruded to a diameter of 0 0.927 inches.